What's up, guys? NBA talk. Happy Martin Luther King's Day. Um, Monday, basketball for you. We got a couple games, as always, including the Cavaliers versus Warriors games. We're going to see that. Um, we're going to start things off with the Toronto Raptors versus the Philadelphia 76ers Eastern Conference battle. Toronto lose their second loss. Remember, a couple of days ago, they lost to the Golden State Warriors in a very good comeback, my add. But as a loss, is a loss. Uh, and now they lose to the Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid was phenomenal tonight. He was unstoppable inside the paint. The shooting in the three-point three point range was, he only made one three-pointer. But inside the paint, he was killing people. And was getting to the free throw line a lot. 14 times in the free throw line. He put up 34 points, 11 rebounds tonight, 3 assists. And he turned the ball over a lot. That was, that was the big problem with him tonight as well. 7 turnovers, which kept the Toronto Raptors afloat because... Like the first half, they were struggling a little bit because Philadelphia was playing some good defense. Uh, they couldn't find a shot. Kyle Lowry was missing a lot of shots throughout the entire game. He was 3 for 16 from the field. Um, but the Toronto Raptors still came back just like the Golden State Warriors game. They started building themselves back up, trying to destroy that lead. But the Philadelphia 76ers were able to hold on and get that win for themselves. Um... So yeah, and it was a it was a beefy game too with DeRozan and McConnell going at it, and then you had Ben Simmons and Kyle Lowry getting ejected from the game, and looked like they were about to meet up after the ejection. Like they were signaling to each other, "Oh, let's go to the back so we can square up." That would be funny if we hear some fighting going on in backstage. Hopefully not, <laughs> but it will still be funny. Um, so yeah, Philadelphia 76ers win 117 to 111. Like I said, Joel Embiid was phenomenal. 34 points, 11 rebounds, 11 from 21 from the field, 11 from 14 from the free throw line. Uh, ben Simmons with 12 points, four assists. He picked up six turnovers. The turnovers were big time, 21. It was a big problem for Philadelphia 76ers, which the Toronto Raptors took over with. Uh, J.J. Redick, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Um, Stark with 11 points. Even though I'm not, I'm not pronouncing his name right, I know it. Uh, Covington, 11 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, and a couple people off the bench, including McConnell, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals tonight. Very good. Um, so, yeah. That's it for the Philadelphia. They shot 49% from the field, picked up 29 48 rebounds, 22 assists. Uh, Raptors, 24 points from DeRozan. He also picked up five assists and two steals. He was eight for 18 from the field. Um, Kyle Lowry, 13 points, seven rebounds, four assists, three steals. Is his overall score, of course, like I said, three for 16 from the field, one for five from the three-point range. Venetunas only played for 14 minutes, eight points, five rebounds. Uh, Serge Ibaka, 10 points. Um, D-Long, right? 20 points off the bench. And then you got boy Fred before he went down, I believe. He got hurt. Um, 8 points. 1 for 8 from the field. And, yeah, CJ Miles picked up 10 points tonight. So, 40% from the field. 28% from the 3-point range. Um, 44 rebounds. 20 assists. 15 turnovers. So that's it. Um, Philadelphia is 20 and 20, 10 and 10 uh, at home. That's a crazy number. So good luck with them because they're trying to fight for a playoff spot. And Toronto Raptors still above um, Cavaliers who have been struggling. So they still got breathing room right now. They're 29 and 13, 14 and 10 on the road. Uh, they will face the Detroit Pistons, I believe, on Wednesday. So it's going to be at home. So they got an advantage right there. So hopefully Kyle Lowry can uh, collect himself, get himself going. So peace out for this video.